First off, who is your current guru? Who is your guru at the moment? Yeah, Guru Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Okay. Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Okay. Yeah. Who else? The translation um, I know is teacher. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, darling. Because guru does mean teacher because our guru has taught us how to be nice beings and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. The literal translation and what Guru Bani and Guru Granth Sahib Ji has written is two completely different things. Yeah. There are certain teachers who put smile on your face. Mm -hmm. Yes. And there are certain teachers who just depress you further. Yeah. But when when we go to the Guruji, when we go in front of Guru Sahib, all we are left is with this light inside us. Even if I'm not a very good person for my Guru, still my Guru Sahib will always accept me as it is. when it comes to understanding what a guru is and understanding the difference between a true guru and the gurus that are walking around at the moment right there's a huge difference Sangaji, we welcome you all to this kids show and uh, today we will be starting with a new season as our Bruno Singh has suggested us that it should be in a season format. So uh, this season is going to be about Guru Nanak Dev Pacha and what Guru Nanak Maharaj, he told us, what he asked us to learn. So our little Sangat, all the, all the kids who are watching us, I plead you, I request you to please watch us and try and understand what we are talking about. And if you have any questions, no problem, we can always discuss your questions. Bilko Sangaji, it's really important uh, whenever we start talking about Sikhi and um, obviously the Sikh religion's um, kind of identity, it's important to try and understand it right from the beginning because this identity, this Siddhant, this format, this ideology came right from Guru Nanak Sahib and it carried on throughout the 10 Guru's lives and then passed that to the 18th century and now what we have today. So it's some generally that we have to start right from the beginning to understand exactly how Sikhi was created, where the format came from, what the ideology was and how it came about. Yeah, uh, one thing I would like to uh, state before we begin this season that we have got the feedback and um, Sangat has told us that either we do it in English or in Punjabi purely. Um, and we have decided that probably we will be going with two different programs. One will be in English, which is this one, and the another will be in Punjabi. So for Punjabi uh, speaking and Punjabi, um, Punjabi episodes, uh, our kids will be the same, but we will do separate episodes, episodes of that. And today, Rajveer Singh, we have a question. We need to discuss something really interesting mm -hmm. with them. And that is, our question is, who is Guru? What is Guru? Uh, our very basic fundamental of Sikhi is Guru yeah. and who is Guru. Today we are going to uh, discuss this with our young kids but before that let's uh, invite them to the studio and uh, have their introduction. Wagaji ka khalsa, Wagaji ki fateh, mera naam Bruno Singh hai, meri umad das saal di hai, mein Annie Leonard school vich padda haan. Wagaji ka khalsa, Wagaji ki fateh, mera naam Ishvi Singh Pogala, so we welcome you all to this uh, studio and today we'll be discussing about who is Guru. Mm -hmm. So uh, Rajvir Singh, do you think we should start with them? Yeah, I think. Them? So Let's see how intelligent they are. Yeah, so guys, first off, who is your current Guru? Who is your Guru at the moment? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, start. Me. Yeah, Guru, Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Okay. Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Okay. Yeah. Who else? Who else? Mm -hmm. Guru, Guru Khalsa Panth Ji and Guru Granth, Granth Sahib, Sahib Ji. Ji. So when Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj gave the Guru Gaddi to Guru Granth Sahib Ji, he also said that the Khalsa Panth, which was the Panth that he created in 1699, Vizaki, he said that the Khalsa Panth would also be the Guru as well. Right? So essentially, it's the idea that we have to build our characters up to that point where we are worthy of becoming equal to the Guru. So that we can say that Hanji Yasi Potti and Guru Gomit Singh Ji Right? So that's very good that you guys know who your Guru is. 
But the real question is, what is a guru? Who is the guru? Yeah. Yeah. What is a guru? Go on. Um, in English, the translation uh, is basically teacher. Right. Mm. Okay. But yeah. it's not the only translation. There's many more translations you could use. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the translation um, I know is teacher. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, darling. Because a guru does mean teacher because our guru has taught us like how to be nicer beings and everything. Mm -hmm. yes. Right. So this is this is something very important because this is what we have been taught that guru literally translates to a teacher. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, kids. One thing I, I would like you to remember for your entire life, and that is not every word is translatable. Okay? Yes. You cannot translate every word. That is not possible because when, when we use certain words in, a one, in one language and then we translate it to different language, probably the other language does not know the exact meaning of that language. Right? Because language is a philosophy. It is not only words. Okay, because okay, uh, let's say uh, when we say Turki Bani Ai. Now, I, I'm sure you all have heard about it, Turki Bani Ai. Have you guys heard? Guru that Nanak Patsha said yeah. Turki Bani Ai. Have you heard about it? Bruno saying no. Turki okay, Bani so okay, okay. so uh, all of you, this is your homework. All the kids, you need to think about this. Turki Bani Ai, this is Guru Nanak Patshya said and if you have not heard it, ask your parents, mm -hmm. okay, that what is Turki Bani Ai, but can you translate Turki Bani Ai, how will you do that, mm. is, uh, would we say that Bani is coming from heaven, no we do not have that concept, mm -hmm. so what are we going to translate, so all my point is that there are not every time there are no words to be exact translations of a word from one language to another language. And guru is one such word, okay? All right. So, so Rajiv Singh. Yeah. Generally, what you're taught in schools and what people tell you in the gurdwara is that a guru means teacher, right? Guru doesn't mean teacher. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's it's what you're taught, and it's in a lot of books. Yeah? So basically, I asked my dad, "Does guru mean teacher?" Mm -hmm. He said it's w it, it could be that translation, but it could also. Uh, but there's many different translations. Yeah, there's many different translations to the word guru, as in the literal word, right? So like it's like if you took my name Rajveer and you translated that to English, right? That means the brave king. But that You're not the brave king. Exactly, I'm <laughs> no king, right? I mean, my guru's made me a king, but Ogal Vakriya, right? So the idea is is that the literal translation. And what Guru Bani and Guru Granth Sahib Ji has written is two completely different things, yeah. right? So, so one thing, when, when you say, Bruno, that um, there, there can be many other translations, right? Yes. So we are not talking about translation at all, okay? The thing is we need to understand who is Guru and why Guru is not a teacher. Why should not we be saying that Guru is... Guru is like the king of kings. Yes, exactly. But when He's we say... Like that. But what is he actually? Yes, That's but when, what we're when we to say, to. when we say that Guru is a teacher, what we are doing is, we are narrowing down the concept of Guru. Okay. Now to understand this, let's first understand why should Guru not be translated to just a teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why? One thing, your teacher can make a mistake. Yes. Yes. Whenever your teacher is teaching you, probably she can or he can make a mistake. Yes, but gurus don't make mistakes. Guru never make a mistake, never. right? Never ever. Second, not all the teachers are nice. I mean, teachers are supposed to be nice, yeah. but then there is some prejudice. Okay. Yes, I agree. There are some bad yes. teachers, right? Yeah. yeah. There are. There are there some are. teachers. Yeah. So there are. There is prejudice. They like some students more than the others, exactly. right? You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But Guru can never do that. Guru, Guru will love all of us equal. equal. Yeah, everybody yeah? is equal. Right? So now you understand that why Guru cannot be translated to a teacher? Mm -hmm. yes. When we say that Guru Granth Sahib or Guru Nanak Dev Patsha and anybody say that Guru means teacher, just simply say them, no, Guru does not mean teacher. Guru is much more than being a teacher. 
guru guides you that's correct so whenever somebody asks you also uh, kids whenever somebody asks you what does guru mean you need to tell them that guru is not simple as simple as being a teacher mm -hmm. it's not teacher right why and i have given you the reason because teachers can make mistakes guru never makes mistake teachers can be prejudiced you may like some teachers and may dislike some teachers right mm -hmm. yes you all have some favorites and some yeah definitely yeah. less favorite yeah. teachers right but yeah. when it comes to guruji we love guru nanak we love guru angad dev padshah we love guru amar das maharaj all the same because all of them are same there is no two teachers right so guru nanak padshah whatever guru nanak padshah is guru angad dev maharaj becomes that because it is to do more about your spiritual con consciousness And that's exactly why when people try and say that Guru Nanak Sahib and Guru Gobind Singh Ji are two different ideas, when some people say that Guru Nanak Sahib created a simple panth and Guru Gobind Singh Ji created the Khalsa, which they was are, some other equal. idea. Yeah, exactly. They're equal. They're not two different ideas. Sikhi and the Khalsa isn't two different ideas. Yeah. It's one same idea. But obviously, there are people out there who try and change that. That's yeah. why we have to be confident enough in ourselves to be able to answer those people and tell them, no, this is what it actually yeah. means. And that's why we have programs like this. So, so oh, now, now if I ask you, what do you mean by guru? So, what will your answer be? Yes. There is no exact meaning to um, guru. Mm. Okay, right. But we will give you a meaning. We will give, we you, will a give you a meaning. Yeah. Yes. Mm, a giant enlightenment. Exactly. That's one thing. Uh, an enlighten enlightenment. Yeah, definitely. So let's put this this way. Mm. Um, if somebody asks you now that guru means teacher, what will be your answer? No. 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 Just say it to everybody. your friends watching you is guru a teacher no. no no not only a teacher teacher only teaches you guru guides you throughout your life gurus can't make mistakes yes yeah. gurus can't make mistakes gurus are all gurus guru love everybody equally and all gurus are loved equally and there is no favoritism working out them. there okay yeah. there is no favorite kids there is no favorite gurus mm -hmm. right all are one and this is what we need to understand okay so uh, just one thing uh, now when we think about guru ji guru sahib right and we say that guru is not a teacher not only a teacher i mean just shrinking it to your teacher is like making guru sahib look like your maths teacher or your science teacher or your <laughs> <laughs> religious studies teacher and that's not that's not that's it. not true right so what does guru actually means who is a guru then any idea any idea um, yes a king okay the king of kings the king of kings mm -hmm. right okay. right yeah. a so that spiritual soul a, a spiritual soul. soul very near to it mm -hmm. exactly so when you say a king of kings who do you think can be a king of king nobody except guru and except god guru. Mm. and But what if you were trying qualities? to describe that yes. king of king if you were trying to describe that king of king what what would it be what would it, that person be like an enlightenment enlightened mm -hmm. person right spiritual spiritual a uh, very do you think they'd bring people together people who might have been shrouded in darkness people who might have been yes, struggling yeah. yes. Yes. i think yes. they'd be bringing them together and like kind of giving them better life yeah. better yes. ideas yes. yeah they'd be a true king right they'd be bringing people in anyone who might be struggling anyone yeah. who might be poor anyone who might be uh hurt anyone who might be injured bringing them in all together and giving them a new life right that's what we would call a true king right king okay. of kings all right yeah and now when when you think about your teachers okay not all your class teachers even you can think about somebody else yeah all the teachers probably there are certain teachers who put smile on your face mm -hmm. yeah and there are certain teachers who just depress you further yeah <laughs> yes. right definitely. and you don't like attending their classes at all definitely you just definitely. want to run away from the class yes yeah? every single day <laughs> <laughs> yes but when when we go to the guruji when we go in front of guru sahib all we are left is with this light inside us 
okay we we think about as as more positive person guruji never tell us that oh you cannot do this in your class i don't know if this happens in this country or not yeah. but back in india when i was um, i was a young kid like them or like you it was always said to me oh you get out of the class you cannot do this you cannot do that so you your your you know your uh, your morale is put down your confidence is put down by your teachers sometime right mm -hmm. those who are termed as bad kids when they are slapped by the other kids or when they are bullied by the other people what do, what do, what are they left with they are left with low confidence they start feeling oh we are not liked by anybody we are not loved by anybody and so they went th they they start moving away from the good path whereas whenever we go to the guru sahib even if i am not a good good kid for my guru even if i'm not very good person for my guru still my guru sahib will always accept me as it is right and that is the that is important because once my guru ji accept me and he leads my way that is when i move from darkness to the lightness mm. right to the light right so guru is somebody who will hold your finger and walk you through the through this life from the darkness to light do you understand that so that is a spiritual soul of course yeah. okay so the yeah. idea is you come it's like every every time in our lives right we have these times where like i don't know we get sad over something yeah. right something happens it could be anything right it could range from not getting a, your favorite toy or not being able to play a game from i don't know someone in your family passes away or mm -hmm. something right something always happens in your life yeah. right and something happens and you just end up in like this kind of state where you just don't know where to go right and you don't know what to do right and you just kind of sit back and you're thinking and you're stuck in your brain you're stuck inside your own head and you don't know what to do right but for some random reason whenever you like that if you ever go to the gurdwara all that worry just kind of disappears mm -hmm. and you sit inside maraj's darbar and everything just kind of disappears right because you realize that at the end of the day it doesn't matter what you think mm -hmm. what you say but that one true guru is still there with you and that's why in gurbani maharaj even says that jako mushkil at bane toi ko ena de so if someone mm. if you were in such trouble right that no one else is helping you lagu hoye dushmana saak pe bhaj khale that all your enemies are coming for you right and no one's there to protect you no one's there to save you sabbo bhajay asra chuke sab asrao all your last hopes are just kind of disappearing and you've got no other hope left right and then maraj says jit aave us par brahm lage na tati va that if you even at that time you just remember that one true guru your one true guide your one true person who takes you from darkness to light then even a, a kind of hot air will not be able to touch you right so it's that kind of idea that the guru will protect you in any way possible Your teacher cannot. Your teacher can't do that. Your teacher can cannot they? protect you everywhere. Why would our teachers right. protect us? But that—that's the thing, though, isn't What? it? Because we're, we are their children. But when you're in school, your teachers are responsible for you. Yes, yeah. it's only because they want the money. And that's the difference, yeah. isn't it? The guru doesn't want anything. They want to. They you. want to get paid. Yeah, and that's the, the difference. Job. Though we we should be thankful to them as yeah. well yeah. because of course. because they are taking care they of us. They do give us and they give yeah. us yeah. education. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we should be thankful to them. But comparing a teacher with guru is simply a just flawed understanding. Yeah. Right. It's a failure of of us, the six who have given this kind of notion that guru is just a teacher. Mm -hmm. Because guru is your best friend. right whatever and this is my personal story as well whenever i feel that i'm lonely in this 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 country where i don't have any family right to rely on who is my family guru granth sahib maharaj i always go to gurdwara and i'll sit in hajuri of guru sahib and that's it mm -hmm. that's it i got my family there i got my support system there okay so this is a homework for all of you who are watching us and for three of you now from now onwards whenever you go to gurdwara sit there in maharaj's hajuri guru granth sahib maharaj's samne whenever you sit there just look at guru granth sahib maharaj right and try to communicate and i assure you 
Guru Sahib gave you re give a reply. Yeah. He answers you back. And this is personal experience, kids. I'm not joking. And this is a personal experience. He replies back. Yeah. He becomes your best friend. He becomes your mother. He becomes your father. He becomes your sister, your brother. Whatever in this world or in this universe you can think of that this is what is important to me. Guru Maharaj is there. Yeah. Right? So that is that is whole about Guru not as being just a teacher. So from now onwards, are you are you clear? Are you with me? Mm -hmm. yes. That Guru yes. is not just teacher. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. So I think just to wrap it off, I'll tell you guys a funny story. Yeah. Just to kind of end off what um Gurunpreet was saying. When you know how I was saying like con connect to the Guru, yeah. right? And make a personal connection with the Guru. I went to a camp about four years ago, Sikhi camp, like it's in Wales. It's on your shirt. Yeah, it's in Wales and stuff, right? And it's like a really, really nice camp. Ute, the, one of my friends that I made in the camp, I told him, I was like, Guru Granth Sahib is a living Guru, right? And he'll answer any question you ever have. And he started laughing at me, right? And he said, okay, you know what? Today, when we go um, to Darbar and we do our das, I'm going to ask Guru Sahib a question. Uh, so I want to see if they answer me in Hukum mm. And I was like, okay. Was he a Sikh like you? Sengi, Sagam, But he just, he, he didn't, he didn't, um, he hadn't either. had that experience, let's say, that made him believe, right? And so I said, okay. And I was like, okay, what were question? Like, were you guys like sleeping in tents? Yeah, it was like a proper camp, right? Oh. Anyways, um, and we were there for like a whole week. And um, so I said to him, okay, what's the question you're going to ask? And he said, what shall I have for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> and I was kind of thinking at the back of my head, I was, is, like, I was like, that is a really weird question to ask, right? Yeah. And that's a really, really weird question to ask. And I was like, okay, and I was like, <laughs> 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 right? Went to the Darbar, did Ardas, he asked the question in his head. And then the Hukum Namasav came out and I was sitting at the back of my mind and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> if this does not work, like Maharaj has to like co pull through this time. And <laughs> what was the hukum nama? Dal si da mango kiyo, hamara kusi karenatiyo. Right? That I ask for dal, I ask for roti, I ask for all these different types of um, food to eat. And so after that time, this guy who went on this journey with me, <coughs> right now he understood what I was trying to tell him that the Guru is around it doesn't matter where you look it can be the silliest yeah. so question he, so he answered Did his he question so Guru yeah. Sahib answered his question he said what do shall I eat tonight and Guru Sahib said have dal and uh, this, this happens this happens with me How every dark. time you know every time <laughs> whenever I have a question even it's even a silly question like I was doing something and I, I was I was supposed to what can to I have for dinner yeah you can ask yeah. I mean anything anything and Guru Sahib answers no, never, never in my life, I don't remember even a single point when I asked something to Guru Sahib and there was not an exact answer. He responded back exactly the same way, right? So it is all. Now what was the difference between Rajveer who had this faith that Guru Maharaj will answer and the other Singh who thought that probably he will not and that is why he very cleverly chose a question probably thinking that this cannot be answered. Yeah. But Guru Maharaj <laughs> answered. Answer. What was the difference? The difference was that Rajveer was thinking, was looking at Guru as a Guru and he was looking at a Guru as a teacher. Probably he was taught like that. Yeah. Okay. So we all need to think that Guru is not simply as a teacher. It's okay. m way more than that. And believe you me kids, you will be surprised once you start believing, once you start thinking about it and asking questions. Just go yourself, ask yourself and you will find out that what, what treasure do we have um, when, we, when we look at Guru Granth Sahib Maharaj. Yeah. Uh, so guys, it's really, really important uh, whenever we're talking about this kind of ideology, when it comes to understanding what a Guru is and understanding the difference between a true Guru and the Gurus that are walking around at the moment that we have that are um, yeah. right? There's a huge difference, right? And your true Guru is standing there with you and then there are those who just sit in a tent and you know, uh, sit on a throne and do their own thing, right? So it both of the farkya is Hanu Samjina Chaidaya ki Guru Asri Kaunya, Sikhi de Mutaba Guru Hai Kaunya. 
right? And when we understand that, then we know that there's no other person but Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj and the Khalsa Panth that can be granted that, guru, uh, that title of the Guru. So it's really, really important that we take this time out and we understand what a Guru means. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If there are any questions, anyone does want to ask anything, please call up. The number is 0121 551 1001 call up a call channel ask us any questions you want we'll do our best to answer them in a separate show on the questions and answers given to us by the kids that want to ask them guys thank you very much as well for joining and i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys learned something